So, the communist Vietnamese and the nationalism. How did the communism enter into Vietnam? And how did the nationalism come up finally? We have seen the various phases, the growth of the momentum. And ultimately, it was a time when the momentum struck the independence of Vietnam has been declared. So, let us move on to that phase. The communism communist movements and Vietnam nationalism. So this communist movements and the Vietnamese nationalism are very closely connected. Why are they very closely connected is if you understand the sequential order, we can estimate it very clearly. As we all know, after the first world war, it was a very huge loss, a great disaster what the human mankind has experienced. So after this one, the disaster happened, a lot of people lost their lives, a lot of people lost their properties, a lot of people were facing a lot of problems, unemployment flourished everywhere. Uh, because the investment of the money has been kept on the machinery, on the guns and, and war is something where you keep the investment but you don't get anything back in return for it. So the investments which are diverted to keep on the war are completely been at loss. So this situation led after a decade to enter into the global depression, the great economic depression. So the great economic depression effect, great economic depression effect felt on Vietnam in 1930. So the Vietnam started to experience the great economic depression's effect. What will be the effect of great economic depression? The effect of great economic depression is that the value of the products will come down. The income what you are getting will be generated to half. The cost of the rice has gone down completely. The fertility of the soil has gone down completely because of these bombings and all these things. And the people who started to consume has been reduced. The unemployment started to flourish everywhere. And this unemployment forced the people to turn out from their traditional occupations to the new occupations. But there are no occupations available at that time. So this kind of problems flourished. People were forced to take loans, debts. They cannot repay back their loans. They were falling into the complete debted nature. They were completely in the clutches of the money lenders. So everybody was in trouble. This was the situation in 1930 when the situations were turned like this. And this effect was very much highly felt in the cities of Nagyan and Hapatin. Hapatin. Nagyan and Hapatin are the cities in Vietnam where these two cities are the oldest cities and these two cities have a very old custom and tradition. Very old custom and old traditions. So these old customs and old traditions are completely followed blindly in these two places of Vietnam. That is the reason why these two places are called as electric fuses. The electric fuses, they are rightly called as electric fuses because anything comes here, they may burst outside. They would not allow any kind of new changes which are turning towards them. They don't like to get adapted to new changes. So they want the changes to be happened by a systematic procedure. So the French people want to resist this one. They started to use the bomb demonstrators and destroy the stronghold of the Vietnamese people. They started to use their complete efforts, start to bomb those regions and destroy the places, destroy the people, break the unity of the people in order to bring change in them. So the French people used, French used entire energy or power to destroy them. And they also used the bomb demonstrators to dem destroy the people in making them to get scared by showing them the bombs. So after the situation is turned, looking at these time, we have a letter, the letter emerging out of the situation of the Vietnam. The letter name is none other than Ho Chi Minh. 
Ho Chi Minh established a political party in 1930 known as Communist Party. This is known as Vietnamese Communist Party. This is also known as later changed as Indochina Communist Party. So Ho Chi Minh was the main person who initiated the process of establishing a political party in 1930 and have the Vietnamese Communist Party. Later the name got modified as Indochina Communist Party. So when the situations are going like this, people start to gain momentum to fight against the colonial masters. But in 1940, the situation turned completely reverse. In 1940, Japan occupied Hanai. This Hanai was actually the Vietnam. In their drive, in order to prove that in Southeast Asia, they were able to capture many regions. The Japanese people wanted to occupy, hold a land on this region. So they occupied the Vietnam land, Hanoi. And after they occupied this place, now the Vietnamese people have to fight with Japanese people and the French people. The Vietnamese people started to fight with both the people and ultimately they were able to defeat the Japanese and the French people and gain the freedom and independence for them by establishing communist party into rule they established the Republic of Vietnam in September 1945. So with this, the struggle and the dreams of all the Vietnamese people came true. That happened on September 1945. We have the establishment of Democratic Republic of Vietnam. And the chairman of the party was Ho Chi Minh. This was the awaited story of Vietnam. So, the great economic depression showed its effect, showed its impact on Vietnam also. So, Vietnam also was left out from the influence of great economic depression. With the great economic depressions, the standard of living of the people has come down. The economic situation has been turned completely down. The value of the rice, the production of the rubber, the production of the teak, everything has come down. People turned to be unemployed, got completely into the debtedness. Money lenders started to lend money, but people were not able to repay back the loan. This situated in a very complete economic drain of Vietnam. So when the situations are turning like this, Ho Chi Minh looked like a light for the people in the darkness. He started a communist party in Vietnam. He named it as Vietnamese Communist Party. Later on, the name was being changed into Indochina Communist Party. So after he started the party and it was very influential, many people started to get associated with his party. And later on, the leaders were able to influence the people at that moment of time when the Second World War was in progress. Japan wanted to showcase its drive on Southeast Asia. So they moved on and they occupied the Hanoi region of Vietnam. So now the Japanese and the French people have to be driven out of Vietnam in order to get independence. So the Vietnamese people did a huge struggle to defeat them and finally they were successful. In September 1945, they established the Republic of Vietnam. But are they able to have happy independence after they got this Republic structure or independence? after fighting for a long freedom struggle. After 1945 also, it took nearly 30 years for them to establish complete freedom. What happened next? We will check it. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.